guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, we are going to be chatting all about what I got for Christmas this year. Now I was able to get quite a few gift cards from friends and family, so I'm super thankful for that. And with those gift cards, I purchased my own items that I really, really want, as well as items that I'll get to review for you guys so that you can decide if you wanna purchase them in the future or not. So if you guys wanna see what I got for Christmas this year, then just keep watching. The first thing that I actually got for myself <laughs> was this. So this is a Chanel beauty kit. Can you guys see how stunning that is? It is so, so pretty. So this is the Sheer Sensation Lip Gloss Trio set. This sold out super fast, you guys. I was able to grab this from a friend of mine who was able to get it from the website, but that was really, really fast. This lip gloss trio has also been offered in previous years. It comes in a really cool, Chanel makeup bag and everything and this just flew off the shelves. This is what the bag looks like here you guys. So this is the Chanel makeup bag that it comes in. It has like a really nice interesting sparkle thread to it. Really nice and beautiful there. You can open it up and then inside we have the lip glosses. So I am a huge fan of the lip glosses. I do have caramel as my shade that I love but this set comes with three of them. And I double checked to make sure that not one of them was caramel because that would be kind of too bad if I got a repeat. Not that it would matter so too much because I love it, but I wanted to try some new shades out. So the shades in here are 722 Nos Moscata. Hopefully I said that right. 744 Subtil and then 119 Borgiosi. I hope I said that right, but these are the shades. Ooh, okay, so the Nose Moscata is actually really nice and sheer, almost has a mauve pull to it. That one is really, really beautiful. I'll show you guys all of them once I get them all swatched. This one is subtil, ooh, okay. This one is kind of like a baby pink, a little bit on the cooler side. And then the last one is, <laughs> The Bourgeoisie, oh my goodness. I'm Canadian, my French is so bad, it's almost disgraceful. <laughs> this one has even more of a mauve tone yet, almost like a light purple. You can see them here on the hand, so we do have the Bourgeoisie, Subtle, and Nos Moscata on my hand here. So super gorgeous, they all have the same beautiful shine to them that I'm totally used to, which I love. And then there's one that has even more of a shimmer presence on it, which I'm really excited to try out. I like that it does doesn't show glitter particles on my hand because that's always a bit of a downfall with certain glosses. If they're too chunky with the shimmer, I don't really like them as much. So these all look like shades I'm going to be wearing. So I'm so excited that I got this Christmas kit. Okay, so the next item that I got, I'm super thankful for. This is from one of my friends and this is from Hermes. Now this is the perfume collection. I actually haven't tried a single perfume from Hermes that I can remember. It's really nice because Hermes does have have some nice perfumes, a really nice generous line. There's multiple perfumes in their line, but this little set actually has four of them that you can test out. So it's really, really beautiful that way. I absolutely love that. So we do have Le Jardin du Monsieur Lee. <laughs> Sorry guys, the French. Un Jardin en Méditerranée, <laughs> Un Jardin sur le Nil, and then Un Jardin sur Langoon. Wow guys, that was pretty brutal. They all are seven and a half milliliters so they're actually generous sizes now these don't have a spray bottle they're just one that you like dab on your hand it's just like a little small open hole but it's nice to be able to try out four different ones so that you can get one that is in full size of the one you actually want you don't want to guess on something like that hmm this one's actually really nice this is the lagoon one it definitely is more warm it's really floral but it almost has like a woody kind of edge to it. Really, really nice. I'm actually really surprised that I actually like this because I do like florals, but they have to be almost sweeter and almost like with a fruity mix. So that's really nice. That'd be a really nice date night perfume. The next one is the Le Jardin du Monsieur Lee. I think Le Un Jardin is garden, I think. I'm gonna put this one on my other hand and try to grab the notes for this one for you guys. Ooh, okay, this one is very interesting. This one has a bit of like a citrus pull, which I really, really like. It's, um, oh, I can't tell if that's like 
lemon, orange, or grapefruit, but it's definitely got that citrus pull, but it's also kind of earthy. Like it's really interesting. This is really nice. Like I'm really surprised by this one as well. And I think this one also has a little bit of a woodsy edge, but just slight on my skin as it settles down. It really has that nice citrus bit to it with that slight bit of earthiness. It's so good, like very, very nice. That one is definitely a lot less warm than the first one, the Lagoon one, but wow, that's great. I'm like really excited already. Both of my arms now have fragrance. I'm gonna try my best to get the other two down <laughs> so that I don't mix up the notes. This next one is Un Jardin Sur Lanil. Since this is a garden collection, I wonder if the Hermes idea for these is to get like the earthy woody notes in all of them. So let's try this one. This one is Sur Lanil. Oh, what am I smelling with that one? That one also has a nice citrus edge. It's kind of like, lo is it lotus flower? It's definitely like a, a lighter flower. Mango? Is that right? I don't know, it's weird. It has that fruitiness, it has the floral, but it also has that earthiness. That's really beautiful. Okay, another winner, so I'm excited. The last one that I'm doing is the Mediterranean one now. Oh, interesting. This one is interesting because it has like a fruity floral pull, but that floral is really, really there. I can't quite tell what flower that is, but it's more floral with like that underneath like light fruits. So what I'm thinking by that is like pears or apples or, um, you know, something that has like more of a fresher, crisper smell. That's kind of what I'm getting at with those, but I could be totally wrong. <laughs> That's at least how they smell to me. So if you own one of these from Hermes, let me know your thoughts on them, the longevity, etc. but I'll definitely be testing them and letting you guys know. Each one of these is over $100 when you buy them on their own. So it's really, really nice that you get such a generous size to try these out. Like you can get multiple uses with these. So very, very impressive kit. And I'm so thankful that I have this one also to test out. I do wanna show you that I did get a gift from a subscriber which was so nice. So I saw this and with the Chanel ribbon, you guys, I was dead. I'm like, what did you do? I have no idea what this is. I have absolutely no idea. So let's open it together. So here we have the black box with Chanel on the top. You can see that. If you have a guess as to what this is, let me know. Oh, okay guys, this is a snow globe, but it's frozen. It is so, so cold here in Winnipeg right now. It's almost minus 40 with the wind chill that's in Celsius. And this is frozen. And I think it's frozen from transport. You can't see anything on the inside. I am so, so excited. I just hope that this survives the thawing process. Oh my goodness. So I really, really hope that this is not ruined. Please pray, seriously, because this, I can see certain details in it. Like I can see some cute little Chanel bags and stuff, but this is like an ice block right now. If you follow me on Instagram, I will for sure show you how it looks totally thawed, <laughs> but I didn't realize that could, I mean, I guess that makes sense that like it's a fluid product. Of course it could freeze. I really hope that this works out, but thank you so, so much. You know who you are. This is so unexpected and I... Yeah, I'm praying already that this thing defrosts beautifully and it's not ruined because of our stupid winter. All right, guys, the next item that I got for Christmas are actually nest candles. I did get two of them. So you can see here, they have absolutely gorgeous holiday packaging right here. And both of them are holiday candles. This is the first time that I have tested nest candles before as well. I have gotten some questions from you guys as to how they are. Are they good, worth the money? How does the throw work, etc.? So this is something I'm definitely gonna be updating you on. And I figured whenever I get gift cards from Sephora, I always like to kind of do a two for one thing. So if there's something on my wish list, that's awesome. But if I can review something for you too, it's kind of like double whammy. <laughs> so the first one here in this like green packaging is called Birchwood Pine. This one, I can already smell the pine, you guys. It smells so much like pine. This is like holiday to me in a candle. Each of these candles weighs 8.1 ounces. They are in a glass container with a really beautiful print. So you can see that it is so gorgeous. I think with like your decor, it's gonna look so nice. I love the gold detailing on here. It just smells incredible. So it does have the one wick in the center. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. There you go. See with that angle, you can see there's just the one wick there. So we'll see what kind of throw this is. I'm going to be testing it in my main living area, which is fairly open concept. So it's a good way to test out a candle and see how far it really goes. So I will definitely keep you posted on that one. The other scent that I got is called Holiday and it's in this red packaging 
here so beautiful like you don't even really have to wrap these you can just put a bow on top and they're perfect so holiday scent is described as blending pomegranate mandarin orange pine clove and cinnamon with a hint of vanilla and amber so let's see how this one is because that is exciting oh my goodness this one is so spicy but in a good way I can already smell it Ooh, okay, this is kind of like holiday baking. It's so nice. The way they've blended it is so, so nice because it's not super spicy where you can't smell that little woodsiness of the pine. Wow, that's a really nice blend. So this too, you guys, look at this packaging. I love this. I think it's so pretty as well. So definitely beautiful looking candles. They smell really great. I'll definitely keep you updated and let you guys know if they're worth the money and if I'd buy more of them. All right guys, the next holiday present that I purchased with one of my gift cards is actually the Yves Saint Laurent Libra perfume. Now I actually got a sampler of this perfume when I did a little bit of shopping at the YSL Canada website over Black Friday. So this I know I love, <laughs> I'm super excited. This one totally surprised me. I did end up getting a little bottle because I do have quite a few other fragrances in my collection and I've learned that a little bottle is still okay. <laughs> you don't have to buy like the biggest bottle of everything just because you have a lot of things to use up. So can we talk about the packaging because it has YSL wrapped around it. You can see it's actually this way. So this would be how it normally is on like bags and stuff like that with that YSL gold decal. And then it has a really beautiful chain detailing right by the top of this. When you put the cap on, it's really cool because it has like geometric edging. It's not like a perfectly square cap. This is gorgeous. And then they have the exact same packaging in the big size. If you want more of it, it's just larger and taller. So this, you guys, is such a good fragrance. I'm gonna spray it on my hand. I was able to remove quite a bit of the Hermes one because I like ran to the bathroom and removed it. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to describe this one for you because it really surprised me. Okay, so this one is warmer right off the bat compared to what I'm used to, but it's definitely like a little bit sweet as well, which I like because I do find that sometimes overly warm fragrances don't have that sweet pull, so it can be quite heavy on the nose sometimes, but for some reason the sweetness is kind of pulling it out. Like, it's like sweet slash musky a little bit with a bit of like lavender. My husband has told me that I have the nose of a bloodhound, so I try my best to make use of it <laughs> for you guys. So that's the best way to describe Libra, but this one is so gorgeous and I had to have it. As soon as I saw that sample and I tried it out for you guys and I was like, I can't believe I like this one. So this is an amazing perfume as well and I used a gift card towards this. So, so good, you guys. Now the last two things I got for Christmas from my gift cards were both fragrances as well, except I wasn't quite sure of them because I hadn't tested them before and I didn't want to buy a full bottle of them in case they didn't work out. So the first one is from Atelier Cologne. I do love a lot of their colognes, you guys. I think they're so, so nice. They're very fruity. They're just very bright and enlightening and I love, love this line. They also have some other ones that are more like, you know, vanilla and stuff like that. This is Lemon Island. I'm gonna try my best to get this one as well because <laughs> now I have perfume everywhere, you guys. As soon as I'm done filming a clip from one perfume, I just like run over to the bathroom and try to scrub it off so that I can describe the next one for you. But this is Lemon Island. Ooh, okay. Lemon for sure is the top note, and given the name, I'm glad that is <laughs> the case. Lemon with like a teeny bit of vanilla or something sweet. It also has a bit of a floralness to it, but I can't quite pick up that flower. Very citrusy and bright and summery as well. So this is nice because like I said, we are in the dead of winter here and it's kind of depressing at times. I am not that much of a winter gal. I love snow and stuff, but when it gets to minus 40, I just want to stay in under a blanket in my house. <laughs> so it's nice to kind of get drawn to some of the summer vibes with this one. Definitely excited to test this one out as well. Okay, the last perfume that I got for the holiday, and I'm also going to share one of my Pat McGrath hauls from her huge lipstick sale because they finally come in. I don't know about you guys, but I ordered those lipsticks. They had a crazy sale. It was like $12 US for a lipstick or 17 Canadian and it was normally like 50 bucks. So it was like a blowout sale and I went a little bit crazy. I think got like four or five of them, but I split them between two orders. It was the biggest mistake <laughs> because I only have one and there's still one lost in the post somewhere. Backtracking a little bit, this is the last cologne. This is the Replica cologne. This is a new one from them. And Replica is a collection of fragrance that is supposed to be like going back in time to a specific 
type of event. So replicating a memory, a scent of memory, if that makes sense. This is exactly how they describe it. A reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. So it's pretty cool. It's kind of like historic, trying to capture a certain scent from some specific experience that you may have had. So this one is called Bubble Bath. And I really wanted to try this one because I've been a huge fan of the clean fragrance called Warm Cotton. That's what it's called. It was definitely a clean fragrance and something that just feels like you got out of the shower. It's nothing too sweet or floral or fruity. It's just like a nice, clean, refreshing smell. So when they came out with Bubble Bath, I was pretty excited. I'm also a bath gal, so <laughs> this is exciting. Hopefully this one isn't like disappointing at all because this, a lot is riding on this. This is really interesting. It's very clean smelling, just like what I figured it would be. But I think I'm smelling like slight coconut, like coconut and a bit of floral, like maybe rose. It's just really gentle and definitely clean smelling. Like when I think about a bubble bath, I usually go to the nines in my bubble baths and I get like lush bath bombs, which one of my friends got me four of them and I've already used them. That's literally how insane I am. <laughs> I'm really excited for this one. I think it's gonna be really nice and gentle and just like a nice daytime perfume, super easy to wear. And I will let you guys know my thoughts on that one. Okay, so lastly, we have the one half of the Pat McGrath haul. This isn't part of Christmas, but I figured I'd put it in here because I know that I had a couple questions as to which shades did I get. So I did get this shade from Pat McGrath in her crazy sale. This is the Luxe Trance in 410 Lavish. And I wanted to see how this one was because La Luxe Trance is one of my favorite formulas from her. It's very creamy, it's very easy to wear, it's very shiny. Like her matte trance is still great. It's a very comfortable matte but her Lux Trans ones have that nice hydrating, creamy slip. This is the bullet, the classic black bullet with the gold packaging here, you can see that. It's the exact same as her matte trans lipsticks also, they both have the same outer bullet. And then this is Lux Trans. Now this reminds me of a richer Mademoiselle by Chanel. It kind of has that same vibe, but let's see what this one is like. I'm gonna put it on my hand, ooh. This is vampier than I thought, like actually. I think I was expecting something a little bit lighter if I'm honest. It does remind me a lot of Whirl by Mac. It's maybe slightly deeper than that, but it has the same kind of vibe. I'm excited, I mean, you guys know me, I'm trying to push my boundaries a little bit and not always wear pink and gold on my eyes and not always wear nude lipsticks. <laughs> so this will be a good one to test out and let you guys know. I think that this one will be perfect for like a vampier look. The last thing I got from her sale, and I will show you the other half when it arrives, but this is the Mini Lust Gloss Lip Gloss Trio set from Pat McGrath. I think the idea of her packaging is really sweet with all the sequins, but I think it's so messy. So ugh, I'm gonna do the best I can without spraying because the last time this happened, I got sequins everywhere. I don't know. It's a good idea in theory, but it's also really messy. <laughs> the fetish lip glosses are also one of my favorites. So I decided to get this trio because these three shades are not in my collection. So I figured I would give them a try. The shades in here, we have Flesh 6, Sunset Rose. Actually, I do have Sunset Rose. Whoopsies. And then Love Potion is the lightest one. So here we have all of the shades, Sunset Rose in the middle, Flesh 6 on the left, and on the far right is a gorgeous Love Potion. So you can see here, beautiful wearable shades. I already really, really love Sunset Rose. It's one of my favorites. They have a very consistent formulation, just like the Sunset Rose is. And that's what I really want because I love these glosses already. So adding some additional shades, I'm just obviously expecting the same formulation and quality. And these so far very much swatch the same way. What do you guys think of all of these items I got for Christmas? And are you excited for certain reviews? Do let me know all of your thoughts down below. And until my next one, guys, I hope you have a Merry Christmas and stay safe. Bye, guys. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great, but sorry, there's a light inside of us. It shows the way.